Hi everyone, welcome to Personal Best. These are my top 10 Indigenous players over the last 25 years. My number 10 is Michael Magic McLean uh, from Footscray and the Brisbane Bears. Um, he, won the, he won the BNF in 1991 and 1993. Um, he's in the Indigenous um, Team of the Century. Um, you know, he's coaching up in Darwin now and he, you know, he gives back to a lot of the Indigenous guys back up in Darwin that, that he, in the community and, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, so he's my number 10. For Merritt, all swoop at the back, can't mark. The ball hits the deck. Merritt tries to get his boot to it. Here's McIver, clever hand pass, well played by Michael McLean. Now he hooks it around the corner, and I think McLean's kicked the goal here. Yes. Uh, my number nine is Mickey A. Lachlan from Sydney Swans. Uh, he won. The, he was a Rising Star nominee in 1995. He won the Bob Skilton Medal in 1998. Was All Australian in 1997 and in 2000. He was a leading goalkeeper for the Sydney Swans in 2000, 2001 and 2008. He's got a great number, number 19, which I'm sure he's out there like that number. Um, and he's just one of the great forwards of the game. Goes for O'Loughlin. Did everything but hold the mark. Oh. It's a oh. goal! Oh, a miracle from Magic O'Loughlin. Swans are back in front. He meant it. Uh, my number eight is Nicky Wimmer from the St Kilda Football Club. Uh, he won Mark of the Year in 1992. Uh, he was All-Australian in 1991 and 1995. I think um, when he lifted his jumper up at Vic Park against Collingwood really started the change in our racism this, at that time and um, it changes it, changes it around um, not just Indigenous players but um, Australian-wide as well. Across to Austin Jones. Jones kicked towards the half forward line. No one there. Edwards gives it away. Oh, loose at Crumble. Winmar comes in and he'll bend it down for a goal. My number seven is Jimmy and Phil Cracker from the uh, North Melbourne Football Club. I couldn't split, split the brothers up, but uh, you know they were great, great footballers for the North Melbourne Football Club. Um, you know the things that they did on on field and especially off field as well. Um, but we'll start with the on-field, uh, just, just the way they played with each other. One guy will give the hand pass out just into open space and the other brother will run onto it and uh, kick a goal out of nowhere. They'll get into a fight, the other brother will stick up for the other brother, so, you know, that's good. Um, and just on the, on the side would Phil, uh, he ran an Indigenous program over here in uh, Melbourne. The Indigenous program that I came across for when I was a 15-year-old to start with, so I would uh, thank Phil for that because he probably got me to where I am now with that program, so I would thank Phil. points of the Swans 22 points there's a chance for Tanner he could there's there he goes Jimmy Cracker again watch him have a go at those goals it's a good goal they're doing it well Lord they're backing up well as McCann tops it over there to Phil Cracker and watch this bloke go again a running shot for goal by Phil Cracker and it's a goal oh, oh, Bruce Jones over the head of right not good handball Cracker oh. puts it in a fill to Jimmy My number six is Morris Rioli. Um, he played for the Richmond Football Club. He won the Norm Smith Medal in 1982 in a losing grand final. Um, as I said, he's uh, made a stepping stone for the uh, the Riolis in the AFL with Dean Rioli and now the gun Cyril Rioli. You know, um, he brought that new freakish skill to the game. Um, you know, no one could catch him, no one could tackle him, and it it's runs in the family. No one can tackle Cyril, no one can chase Cyril, and uh, it's just a great football all around. Make sure they get the ball down, drop, try and let the breeze do the work for them. A chance now for Rioli. Can he pick it up? Can he shoot toward goal? He goes goal. He's goal. My number five is Andrew McLeod. Um, he's such a great player. Barrack for Adelaide when I was younger. Um, he was my, my role model. I um, just want to say sorry for him now just because I put him at number five. Um, well, he won uh, two premierships in 97 and 98 with the Crows and and two Norm Smith medals on, on them days as well. Um, he's not just a role model just for the South Australian people, but for the Darwin and Western Australian. I grew up in Western Australia and all my life, and I broke for Adelaide Crows, and he was my favourite player. And I got, I got a chance to play with him, and he's, he kept in the Indigenous game up in uh, Darwin. And uh, we lost that game, but I still got a chance to play with my idol, which was good. Um, and he's just such a freak. Like I said, he won, won, won them two grand finals off his own boot, really. And 
you know, and all the indigenous guys just look up to him and I look up to him. I still do. Into the second term. White. Clark gets it out. McLeod. This is dangerous. He runs to 50. Driving kick is a goal. Andrew McLeod. Sensational piece of play. My number four is Peter Matura from the West Coast Football Club. He uh, was All-Australian 91, 93, 94, 96, 97 uh, as a wingman, I think. Um, he was a Premiership player in 92 and 94. He was one of those Indigenous guys that loved to take the game on with his flair, loved to run and bounce off half-back all the way through and setting up the, the forward line players. Uh, he was just such a pl great player over at West Coast and, um, you know, he's my number four, so, yeah. to the Cats as Barnes wins it but straight to the run of Matera from 55. He sets sail for home with a mighty kick. What a goal. He's one of the players of the year. Mansfield and Merriman at the bottom. Evans over the top. Matera somehow gets out of jail. Peter Matera, 52 metres. Pulls it back. What a magnificent kick for goal. Oh, he can fire them up. My number three is Michael Long from the Essendon Football Club. Um, he's such a great player, you know, f not just on the field, but off the field, the stuff he does for Indigenous people now in, in the community and just as for the uh, long walk that he's got for uh, walking through the MCG in Indigenous round against S uh, Richmond. Um, yeah, and he just gives a lot back to the community um, and, he's, and just his football skills, like he's just freaky. He used to kill Carlton. Every chance you get, the, the, the running bounce, you see where he's running down here and he kicks the goal and I think Soss is on the, in the goal square and says that he touches it, but he didn't end up touching it and it was a goal. Like He used to just run rings around, uh, yeah, around Carlton, but uh, yeah, he's, he's my number three. Straight down the middle, lovely kick, almost to the centre of the ground. Williams waits at the back, but it's uh, to his opposite number, Denham, in the middle. Now Michael Long, look at this boy go. Away goes Michael Long, 50 metres out, still going, 30 metres out, oh what play, it may have been touched on the line, no! One of the plays of the year! My number two is Gavin Wangening from the Essendon Football Club and Port Adelaide Football Club. He was the first Indigenous player to uh, win a Brownlow medal, he was the first Indigenous player to um, reached 300 games as a milestone. Um, you know, he was one of the great players that come into the game as a young kid and just, just the way he went about it, off half-back flank for Essendon and, um, you know, all, all the skills that he's shown. He won a premiership with Essendon. Um, and just like I said with all the other players, he was one of the freakiest guys that could just take the game on that no one could catch and just one, one of those guys just like to set up, set up their teammates. Was well, a real team player, they shifted across the port and kept in Port, port Adelaide. I, I played a premiership with Port Adelaide as well, so yeah, he's uh, my number two. Noble and Brogan, and Noble wins again, but to Wanganeen, who kicked a goal earlier in the quarter. Surely there'll be a score. There is. There's a major score. in front by a goal. He is a freak, isn't he? <laughs> this is an unbelievable goal. Uh, all right, my number one is Adam Goods from the Sydney Sydney Football Club. Uh, well, what can I say about Adam? You know, he's he's done everything, really. He's captain Australia, captain Sydney Swans, won two Brownlow medals, won a premiership with, with Sydney Swans, won the Rising Star, probably won every medal there. There is nearly to be one. Um, you know, I had a chance to play would add him uh, for Australia when we played Ireland over in Ireland and he captained the side and just the way that he goes about his footy, you know, he could play rock, play, in, play on ball, play centre half back, play centre half forward and still dominate wherever he plays. So he just, he just is such, such a great player all around and, you know, that's why he's my number one. Can the Eagles get over the line? We'll know in 30 minutes time and we can't wait. As McVay gives Hall and the Swans the first chance, they are going, and it's the Brownlow man, the Brownlow man! Adam Goods, he's got them rocking in the aisles, the 
Swans fans, oh, they can sense it now.